Hi everybody, welcome to TIA Now. I'm Clarence Reynolds. She who controls the interactions to services controls all. Perhaps not, but the northbound API race is going to create a competitive advantage to the winner that manufacturers are scrambling to capture. What are the important elements of this fight? Well, Hima Kadia is Vice President and Head of Strategy and Practice at Prodapt, and she joins us to discuss the race to northbound API supremacy. Hima, welcome. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Clarence. Really appreciate it. Hima, let's discuss the overall concept and purpose of northbound APIs and, and why that space is so valuable. Okay. So uh, let's begin with highlighting the key purpose of northbound APIs. I would highlight three points. One, northbound APIs are responsible for presenting a network abstraction interface to OSS BSS application so that the overall service provisioning and activation process flow can be simplified. Second, it provides complete control to the customer so that uh, the customer experience is improved because now the customer sees it as his or her personal network slice with least total cost of ownership. Third, it provides a platform to the service provider to offer innovative services in combination with their existing services at much better operational efficiencies. So I, I've been looking at the API stack and when you talk about the northbound portion of that, what, what are those components? So broadly, I would classify northbound APIs into two categories. One, uh, north of the orchestrator interfacing with customer facing applications as well as OSS, BSS applications within a single service provider domain. Second, uh, north of uh, SDN controller interfacing with an orchestrator as well as with network applications. An example of a north of the first category would be something like service feasibility check or address validation or service provisioning configuration and activation. An example of the second category would be something like path computation or loop avoidance or uh, routing or security functions. Additionally, if we look at industry standards such as MEF, they have a comprehensive definition of lifecycle service orchestration APIs. They have in fact defined seven categories. I would focus on the northbound APIs. Um, they also have southbound APIs. So let me focus on the northbound APIs. First, the key API is interfacing between customer applications and the business applications such as OSS, BSS application. An example of this API would be like product catalog or product feasibility or product ordering. They are also referred to as um, Kanata APIs in MEF uh, forum. The second uh, API that I would like to highlight is between the customer applications such as portal and OS and um, orchestrator. An example of such API would be again to check service feasibility or address validation or um, service provisioning configuration and activation. They are referred to as Algero APIs. The third category that I would like to highlight is uh, interfacing between OSS, BSS application and an SDN controller. Again, uh, sorry, interfacing between OSS, BSS application and an orchestrator. Uh, in this case, the key APIs would be again focusing on the service validation and so on. Uh, fourth category that I would like to highlight is an interfacing between orchestrator and an SDN controller. In this case, the example APIs would be more of a connectivity policy or topology and routing or fault and performance management. Then there are two other categories of APIs, which are inter-carrier or inter-service provider APIs. One is interfacing across the OSS, BSS applications, and the second is interfacing between an orchestrator, between the two orchestrators in the service provider domain. So that is a holistic classification of MEF APIs, which I broadly classify into two categories. So if a manufacturer controls the, the north, those northbound components, what is their competitive advantage? Yeah, so there are many advantages for the manufacturers. I would highlight three key advantages. One, the manufacturers will be able to offer their products and services uh, in a much cost-effective manner. The second, it will help them to wider their reach within the service provider ecosystem, within the partner network ecosystem, within the wider open source developer community, and thereby drive innovation and revenue growth. The third key advantage they would have is offer better customer experience, not only to the service provider, but also to the end users. So what are the, the core elements of the, the fight for this northbound ownership and supremacy? So the key uh, important element of this fight is standardization. 
Today we see a good number of APIs emerging primarily because there are varying needs for the orchestrator or the OSS application or the BSS applications or the customer facing applications. On the contrast, if you look at southbound APIs, there are well defined standards and also well adoption of those standards in the SDN and FE ecosystem. So, Hima, in your opinion, how will our industry work this, this, this uh, out when there are competing interests? So we see recently a very good amount of collaboration between industry players, primarily driven via standards organization as well as open source communities, such as MEF, such as TM Forum, such as ONAP and ONF. Let me give you a few examples. Um, MEF, as I highlighted earlier, has well-defined LSO lifecycle where those are being defined with a wider collaboration from industry players. The second example is TM Forum. They have defined uh, they are predominantly focused on northbound APIs on OSS, BSS, and orchestrator, orchestrator integration. Also, there is a good amount of collaboration between TM Forum and MEF, where MEF is leveraging some of the TM Forum APIs as a part of their LSO APIs. The third example would be ONAP. ONAP is uh, focusing or is also leveraging some of the MEF defined LSO APIs specifically for interfacing between OSS application and the orchestrator. The fourth industry example would be ONF. They have well-defined transport APIs between an orchestrator and an SDN controller. Again, ONF and MEF are also uh, collaborating where MEF is further expand, uh, extending the transport APIs defined via o o ONF. So in short, uh, looking at these examples, we see that uh, all the industry players, service providers, uh, software vendors, network appliance vendors, system integrators, standard organizations are collaborating to define the or to standardize the northbound APIs. As well as they are also demonstrating the adoption of those northbound APIs with POCs, with hackathon, with hackathons, as well as catalyst programs driven via TM Forum. Well, Hima, thank you so much for your insights. Thank you, Clarence. And of course, we'd like to hear from you, so reach out to us on Facebook or Twitter. And of course, you can see more videos on TIANow.org and on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.